I've read all the articles about the tuition crisis and uh, Famous Sage once said, uh, I don't need more problems, I need a solution. Uh, that was David Merrill. And, you know, both of us care so deeply for WTA. Uh, and, we're, and we're truly honored uh, to be chosen uh, for this volunteer award. Uh, and, and we're just so proud to be part of the community and we've seen WTA grow so much, even during this year. Yeah, you know what, I would say during this year, growth is not easy, but if you think about WTA starting out as 60 students and now we have 198, we have a graduating class, we have kids going to high school, you were there at the beginning. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I got involved when uh, the founding team came together and I loved the concept of affordable Jewish education. I didn't have any children at the time, but I knew eventually I would have a, a family and I, and I was concerned about, uh, you know, affording uh, Jewish education. And thank God there's a place uh, like WTA that is so amazing. I have to say, I mean, we've, I've been really passionate about WTA. Our family, we moved to Westchester and Park for WTA. And it really, it sort of ties into how I was brought up. And I grew up in France and education is different there. And Jewish education is, is in part paid for by the state. And coming to the U.S. was a real, it was a real question of how we were going to approach this issue and the beauty is I've gotten to know WTA more through this process and I always felt that way as an architect you get to you get to meet amazing people when you work on a project and you get to learn more about interesting things and for me that's really been what this has been about. You know when, when we did that walkthrough uh, to the, our new home and you know the way that we always phrase it is we're, we're building this movement and it, it really is something that it, that, it, that is already transforming Jewish education, but seeing like this idea and then coming to life, seeing those walls you know come together and then the doors going on, right? It's amazing. Kids, when we started this out, our kids were in kindergarten, and um, you know you know a bit about what they're doing in school, but you don't know so much. They tell you what they ate for lunch and not much else. <laughs> if you're lucky, if you're if lucky. lucky. <laughs> Speaking to teachers about what they want the building to do for their, or how the building can meet their needs, and speaking to outside people, outside foundations about the wonderful things that are happening in our school, sitting in those meetings with people, I've learned about the school. And yes, I've, I've been passionate about it from day one, but educationally, I've been able to learn so much about the school through the process and sort of reinforced my passion and excitement about the school because we are doing amazing things here. These kids that are standing in front of you that are going out into the world to high school, I mean, they're amazing kids. And these graduates are gonna go out into uh, different communities, different schools, and they're gonna bring our, you know, our love uh, and our values into that. And that will uh, trickle down uh, for years to come. Ezra's in second grade, and he asked me, Mommy, does WTA need money? And I thought that was kind of a strange question, but I said, well, actually, yes, because we're, we're building a building. And he explained to me all excitedly that second grade gets the important role of counting up the school's Tzedakah money. And we discussed that how the school had decided as a whole that they this year they wanted to donate their Tzedakah money to the building. And they were so proud of their $126 and, and what could we do with that? I see that as a moment where my kids understand what's happening, they understand the process, and they really are living the values that are so important to our school. Uh, when Karen and I uh, went to uh, the new building, uh, she was showing me the all-purpose room. And uh, Michael loves to sing, uh, and he sings from the heart. And I had this vision of him uh, singing uh, you know, during during Tech S, uh, during one of the plays that uh, that WTA does, and it, it just it's such a warm place. There's there's that heart, uh, there, there's that connection. Uh, it's really a family affair as well. Uh, my aunt uh, Nuri uh, is a teacher at WTA, and uh, she's just incredible. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, my younger child Ari uh, will be able to go to early childhood and experience uh, the same magic that WTA offers for all of its students. I've also felt inspired by all the people we work with because I can't stress it enough, this building 
It, it was born out of the effort of so many parents through the years who've worked on this project. And I'm not going to name names because they've chosen not to right. sit in these seats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're the people who are juggling four kids right. and you ask them to drop off a set of drawings at the building department, they do it. And I, I'd be amiss not to mention our staff and administration who as soon as we bring up an idea to them, no matter how crazy short timeline it is, we need this by tomorrow, they jump on it. They don't ask why, how, I don't know. No one ever says no. They they always say how can we do this and I feel like it's that spirit of how can we approach this differently how can we solve this problem that really permeates our school and is inspiring our children in the way that they approach problems in life. I love that more and more people are coming to WTA because it's a good school. My mom built a little bit of the building and she designs a little bit of the building and a little bit of the carriage house. Thank you for building the building and designing it. My dad helped WTA raise for the new building. But otherwise, they, WTA wouldn't have that much money. It, it, it sort of drives you because you know that we're almost there. By doing this, we're really gonna change the face of uh, in our community, and it's it, that's what sort of drives me uh, to to be part of this project and, and knowing that we are making a difference. How many people can you affect by what you do? You know, you build a building, people walk by it, people see it every day. Like, how many lives can you change? And really, what we're doing, if you think about the scales that WTA is affecting, there's New Rochelle, there's these kids who are standing in front of us, but then there's all the communities that look at our model and learn from it and maybe implement something similar. And um, it's really, it's sort of, when you think about the possibilities are endless of where this could go. Mother told daddy! Mother told mommy!